what's really happening is that we're living in a linear and non-linear world, but we talk about all of our platforms collectively as one big ecosystem. We are a TV and learning platform for preschool kids, so we are basically all about being the app that helps kids learn through the shows they love. Again, you talk about YouTube and the success of YouTube and what it's done for somebody just sitting in their living room and creating, or in their workplace, and creating something that gets billions of views. I think there's been the word education. We're all looking for educational content. There are products that are being catered or done for the kid, uh, for the kids industry where it's a tablet built specifically for kids and has a lot of kids safety mechanisms where you can consume comfortably that program. Definitely the globalization of content. Uh, we've licensed fr from MIP specifically content from all over the world. We have Argentina, uh, Norway, uh, Cyprus, uh, Spain, France, been completely across the board. So I think that trend will continue. We are a consumer based brand and everything that we do has to really engage our viewers. And so we spend a lot of time studying our viewers and making sure that we're everywhere where that they are to give them this total consumption experience that they can get their content everywhere and how they like it. If you have something that works in one country, you know, the underlying kind of maths of digital, the underlying dynamics of digital, make it so much easier to take that out and have it work across multiple territories. The business has grown since the days of my pioneering video on demand from a set-top box into a, into a living room to now being on app delivery to whatever other technology is going to be developed over the next several years. Uh, for uh, children 8 to 12, we will see perhaps uh, formats that also have things for Instagram or for the parents on Facebook and, and they will be spread on more platforms and I think uh, that's important. The thing you're going to see people coming to MIP for is actually to, you know, not necessarily with a show they want funded but with a brand that they want to build. And maybe they'll be building that brand through TV, maybe they'll be building it on a digital platform. For the kids uh, today, I think uh, the media and communication is very important and will be that. Uh, for the next 20 to 20 years, so I, I think it's so important to follow the kids, what they are doing, what are they using, uh, what kind of learning are they into. We need to know what's happening in their lives. What are the things that matter to them? What do we need to be providing them with? But at the end of the day, it's great storytelling and great characters, and that's what's going to get the kids engaged and talking and experiencing our content everywhere. The you know market research for us uh, really is our users. So we, we've got a good pulse on on the uh, the content that that we're putting on the platform. But after that, it's really up to the kids and parents to decide um, you know what they want to put in front of their their kids and what they want to watch. It is a digital world. You can do a lot on email. You can do a lot on Skype. But there is no substitute for sitting down over a cup of coffee with someone and talking about how they see the the world developing. Yeah.